When we think of a leader, we often think of somebody who is confident, self-assured, and even charismatic. Somebody who has it all together. Somebody who walks into the room and immediately commands everybody's attention. Not somebody who is meek, insecure, or hesitant about themselves. How do these people do it? How do they exude leadership presence? How do they look confident? How do they look like a leader? Well, it's definitely not rocket science and it's definitely not unattainable for you. In this video, I'm going to share with you four ways you can look like a leader too. But we first need to talk about how people decide if you look like a leader or not. And it really comes down to the information processing that people go through when they look at you or when you walk into a room. And this is all linked to the impression people form about you. How are first impressions formed or how is any impression formed? So let's talk about that now. Every interaction you have, people will be looking at you. They will be drawing clues from you any clues or information you give them that would lead them to decide who you are, your level of intelligence and your level of competence. And they primarily draw these clues from three sources, your outfit, your body language and your communication. Through these three sources of information, people will decide whether you look like a leader or not. Now, is this superficial? Maybe. Does it happen? Absolutely. The good news is though, you have control over these three things. You can change or alter them to help people form the impression that you want, to help people see you as a leader. And the first thing that you need to do is to create a signature outfit, a leadership signature outfit. Now this is an outfit that helps to elevate your level of authority, your credibility and your competence. And it also helps to create consistency in the minds of other people you work with. I want to elaborate on that important note about consistency. When you appear consistent, it helps people to trust you. And trust is really important in leadership. As you probably know, your team need to trust you. Your other leaders or other people you interact with in the company, they need to trust you. Stakeholders, clients, everybody needs to trust you when you are a leader. So consistency helps to establish trust. And you can do this by wearing a consistent leadership outfit, i.e. your signature leadership outfit. An outfit like this is a classic example of a leadership outfit fit for men in a traditional industry. So think of someone who's working in banking, finance, law, engineering, things like that. And this is a classic example of an outfit for women in a traditional industry. So again, banking, finance, law. Now, of course, you are absolutely free to alter the colors that you use, the structure of the pieces of clothing to suit your personal taste and to also suit the industry you work in. So whether you work in a traditional industry, a casual industry, or a creative industry, you can alter all of these pieces of information that the other person is going to see and going to receive from you so they can form the impression that you want. When you are choosing your signature outfit, one thing I would highly advise you to do is to lift the level of formality one notch higher than everyone in your team. Authority is quite often communicated through the level of formality that you choose with your outfit. So by choosing a level of formality that is one notch higher than what your team wears, it helps to elevate you, it helps to elevate your authority and make you look like a leader. So here's how you can do it. Instead of wearing a cardigan or a simple top or a simple shirt to work, switch it for a blazer or a jacket. This will immediately add a certain level of formality to your outfit and will immediately lift your level of authority and make you look like a leader. Simple changes to your outfit can have a dramatic impact on how other people perceive you. It can have a dramatic impact on whether other people see you as a leader or not. Now, this is a topic that I delve really deep into in my Business Etiquette 101 social skills for success video course. I cover executive wardrobe for both men and women and depending on what industry you are in, traditional, creative or casual industry. So I really go into a lot of depth in that video course. If you wanted to check it out, I will put a discount link in the description below for you. Next, we need to talk about body language. So what is the body language of a leader? Well, when I think of a leader, I think of somebody who projects confidence and self-assurance, somebody who looks decisive, 
and is sure about the direction they're going in. So somebody who stands tall, who owns the room, who has fantastic posture and really has great leadership presence. Or somebody who sits with presence during a meeting and really owns the room. For you to achieve this, it's absolutely possible, but you need to do three things. First, you need to use confident posture. Good posture will immediately make you look confident, whereas slouching will instantly make you look like you're unsure of yourself. You can also expand your movements, expand your stance, expand your presence, as Amy Cuddy found in her famous study, by using expansive, confident body language and different postures, it can help to make you feel more confident and it could also help to make you come across as confident to other people too. Use good eye contact. Now, good eye contact will help you convey confidence and it will also also help you connect better with the other person. And this also connecting is really important in leadership. I have a ton of videos on my channel about confident body language, about how to look and appear confident. I will link to all of those relevant ones in the description below for you. And I also go into it in much more depth in my powerful confident body language for women video course. If you wanted to check that out, I will put a discount coupon in the description too. As well as looking confident when you're a leader, you also want to be able to connect connect with other people. This is really important. You need to connect with your team, with other stakeholders, with other leaders in your company, and also with your clients. In order to connect with people, as well as looking confident and being confident in your ideas and your thoughts and your position, you also need to appear warm, and approachable. You also need to make the other person feel they are important and memorable. Now, how do you do this? Well, the easiest way to achieve this is to use that person's name in conversation. Using the other person's name is extremely powerful and extremely effective when you want to connect with people. James, I really appreciate the effort you put into this report. Or your contribution in last week's meeting, Monica, was the best I've seen all year. These are examples of how you can use somebody's name in conversation. And when you do this, it will have a massive impact on how they perceive you and whether they connect with you or not. When you can connect with more people and when you can develop deeper and stronger connections with people, this will definitely elevate you, elevate your image and help you appear like a leader. A lot of people think that you have to be born a leader or that you need some special quality in order to be a leader or to be seen as a leader. But I hope now after watching this video, you understand that being a leader or being seen as a leader is not rocket science. And it's something that is absolutely attainable for you. I truly hope that the tips I shared in this video will help you achieve that. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out the other videos on the screen right here. And I will see you again next week. Okay.